Hey guys, so today's video is one full week of my Lean and Greens while on the Optivia 5-in-1 plan. Uh, you voted for this video, so here it goes. I'm just going to be showing you what I eat. Nice and simple, straight to the point. If you have any questions after you watch the video, just leave a comment below. And if you're new here, please subscribe. Talk to y'all soon. Have a wonderful day. And remember, stay focused. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first lean in green. This is five ounces of cooked salmon. I got it at Whole Foods. Um, remember that on the five in one plan, your protein is to be weighed out as uh, cooked, not raw. So five ounces of cooked salmon. And this is three servings of broccoli. This is, uh, I believe, 276 grams of uh, cooked from frozen. I used this from Walmart and there's still some left in the bag but see if you don't weigh it out on a scale like I do see the scale if you don't weigh it out you're getting gypped you have to have the right amount in weight and um, there's an Optavia vegetable conversion sheet ask your coach for it it will tell you how much it weighs like cooked from frozen cooked from fresh things like that so this is my lean and green. I am actually going to be adding one tablespoon of grated pecor Pecorino Romano cheese to the top of my broccoli as a condiment. And this, my friends, is lean and green number one. What's next? Let's see. So for tonight's lean and green, I'm going to have six ounces of rotisserie chicken breast two laughing cow wedges as my healthy fat, two tablespoons of rayos for one condiment, and two portobello caps. And I am currently cooking one in my air fryer, browning this baby up. So out of the air fryer is your portobello cap. You really should take a paper towel and just pat it dry so that it's not too wet. Since we're making two of these, what I'm going to do is split all of the condiments and the good fat and the chicken. So here we have one portobello cap. We're gonna use one tablespoon of the rayos. Okay, we're gonna put it on top. This is so good, guys. It's like light and refreshing, but at the same time, very satisfying. Okay, then we're gonna take one wedge of light laughing cow. So I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute and spread that on top. All right, and then we're gonna just take half the chicken. We're gonna lay it on top. It's very messy, but really good. <laughs> it's a lot of chicken. Six ounces is a full lean. Okay. Now what you could do, truthfully, is put the other cap that's cooking uh, on top. And this one's not cooked as long and it's actually firmer, which might help the situation out a little bit. So let's put this one together. So we have another tablespoon of Rayos, spreading it on. And I'm gonna put on my other wedge of Laughing Cow, so stand by. All right, now I'm gonna add the chicken. This is store-bought rotisserie chicken, no barbecue sauce, no nothing, just plain organic chicken. All right, this is kind of like a chicken Parmesan sandwich-esque kind of thing, <laughs> so I'm gonna just cut it with a fork and knife, but be creative. This is a full lean and green. Uh, we used 126 grams of the portobello mushrooms. I weighed that out raw. Two tablespoons of Rayos for a condiment. One wedge of light laughing cow on each for the healthy fat. And three ounces of grilled or rotisserie chicken on top. So this is lean and green night number two. I forgot to add this. <laughs> I love this stuff. Italian seasoning. So I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit on top. Not a lot. All right, there we go. There is night number two's lean and green. 
Well, 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 tonight's Lean in Green is ground turkey, 99% fat free. I made in two burgers and I took one slice of Velveeta cheese and put half of a slice on each burger. And then I have the mushrooms that I used last night. I had two left, so here they are, the mushroom caps. And I put um, a tablespoon of Rayos in each. Tomorrow's dinner will be a lot nicer, but this is just because I wanna, I don't want these mushrooms to go bad. So each of these burgers uh, totals up to seven ounces. So I have my, oop! <laughs> I have my seven ounces of leanest. This uh, split in half counts as a fat, even though there's not that much fat in it. And the mushrooms are my vegetable and the rayos, one tablespoon on each is my condiment. So this is dinner tonight, guys. Okay, so here we are on Friday night having my lean and green. What do you suppose this is coming out of the air fryer? This is a serving of vegetable and it is eggplant. So I chopped it up into little pieces and I'm going to be adding it into this little bowl filled with the Walden Farms sugar-free Thousand Island dressing and I'm going to make a relish. So we're going to pour it in there and we're going to stir this up. Making a little relish to go on top of a burger that's going to have some laughing cow on top. I'll show you how we put it together. Tonight's just a super simple dinner. Tomorrow will be more complicated and something a little bit better because I'll have the day off, but today's been a long work day, so simple and easy. Good job. All right, so here is a seven ounce uh, lean, 99% fat-free turkey burger. So technically it's called the leanest. And we are gonna put one wedge of Laughing Cow on top. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning on top. And then we're going to add our eggplant relish. I mean, it's totally simple, super simple. Like this doesn't even take 15 minutes. I made the turkey burgers last night. I'm just pouring it on. The eggplant is caramelized a little bit, so it makes it nice and sweet. It looks messy, but it's so good, guys. This is going to be lean and green for tonight. I had some pickles earlier, or if I didn't, I would have chopped them up and probably added it to the relish. So anyway, I'm going to go eat this, and I will see you guys tomorrow. We are going to be making a really good meal tomorrow, so be prepared. So tonight's Lean and Green is coming to you after being caught in a downpour. <laughs> ah! All right, so it is uh, actually quite the dinner because I'm soaking wet. I have to take a shower, but I got to get it started. So it's a comfort food for me. This is spaghetti squash lasagna, and the recipe is from Sandy's Kitchen, none other than my friend Sandy. Uh, if you haven't checked her channel or blog, or when I say channel, I mean Instagram, uh, out, please do so, Sandy's Kitchen. Uh, she has amazing, amazing years worth of Optavia ideas. So, all right. So this is going to be spaghetti squash lasagna, and I'm tweaking it a little bit. It's not an exact recipe, but very close. So first thing we have to do is get a spaghetti squash cut in half, like this, scooped out the inside of the seeds. And now what we're gonna do is take a little bit of cooking spray and just spray lightly around the top and put some salt and pepper on it. And then we're gonna flip them upside down and put them in the oven. So I'm gonna show you how that works. All right, so just a quick spray. That's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, this is parchment paper. I like it better than foil. I think that the squash comes out better that way. All right, guys, so I'm gonna use a little bit of pink Himalayan salt and I spray, I sprinkle it in my hand 
because I like to control the amount I'm gonna use. See the crystals? And just lightly sprinkle on top. I don't like to use a lot because the tomato sauce is gonna have um, some salt in it and I really don't like my food too salty. So then we're gonna take some ground black pepper, sprinkle a little of that on top, very lightly, nothing heavy. Again, the sauce is what gives it the flavor. All right, so now I'm gonna turn these upside down onto the parchment paper. And these are going into a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. So while the um, spaghetti squash is cooking in the oven, I'm going to take this package of uh, ground turkey and brown it up in a pan. Sandy's recipe calls for Genio Italian sweet sausage, uh, but I could not find that anywhere. So I'm just going to use this ground turkey and I'm going to doll it up with some seasoning. So let's get that started. And when you're cooking lean ground turkey like this at 99% fat free, I always like to spray the pan. Running out of pan. I like to spray it like that so it doesn't stick. So let's get this going. First seasoning I'm going to use is onion powder. I don't measure, that's just me. <laughs> Garlic powder. Just sprinkle it on in. Is this even, oh, I have a new one, but we'll use this one. Garlic. Then we have Italian seasoning, which I love. Then I use some whole oregano. And a little bit of basil. All right, now let's get mixing. of this video the ground turkey is done so we're gonna just wait uh, I think I have another 30 minutes until the squash is done so we'll see you back in 30 minutes okay so out of the oven it is and you can see it has um, caramelized and it is really steaming so I'm gonna let this cool a little bit so I can shred this up and then we will prepare our lasagna. All right, so the spaghetti squash, here's the shell and I shredded it and put it into a bowl. And then I took one of these big Pyrex, you know, the nine by 12s and I weighed out 310 grams. This is four servings, four cups technically of cooked spaghetti squash. Doesn't really look like a lot, but this whole pan is going to be four servings so when i eat tonight i'm literally going to cut it in half cut it in half and take one of the servings out so let's put this together and put it back in the oven and see where we're at all right so i zeroed out my scale we're going to need 12 ounces of either the italian sausage or uh, the ground turkey like i made so 12 ounces let's get that on top Right now we're at five ounces. My hands are washed, just in case you're asking. <laughs> I don't do anything with dirty hands, no, no, no. So we're at seven ounces. I'm trying to make it as even as I can. Nine ounces, 10. Still at 10. Let's get some on the ends, 11 ounces, 12 ounces. Okay, there's 12 ounces and it's pretty even, give or take. Don't forget, this is four meals worth. All right, let's get our next layer going. 
So since we're making four servings, it would typically be a quarter of a cup, but I'm doing one full cup. Here it is. And we are gonna put this right on top of our mixture here. I'm gonna try to do this as even as I can. All right, so now we're gonna bring out the cheeses. Once again, we need four servings, so we would normally use a quarter of a cup of this, the part skim milk ricotta cheese. There it is, but we need a full cup because we're making four servings. So I'm gonna divvy this out a minute and uh, show you what that looks like. So we have the four big blobs of cheese and I'm just gonna spread it on a little bit in each corner so that each serving gets an even amount. So now we need one full cup, again, four servings of the low moisture part skim mots. So because I like to weigh everything out, um, it says on here that it is 28 grams for a quarter cup. So 28 times four is 112, I believe. So let's set the scale for grams. Oh, I got some sauce on it. Um, we're at ounces. Let's go to grams. It's at zero. So let's put 112 grams of cheese on. How good does this look guys oh my goodness the reason I stick close to the edges is because I like the edges <laughs> I like when they're crunchy oh my god this looks so good okay we're at 77 we're getting close we are getting close 106 I think we can use a little more on this side here All right, we went over by three grams. I'm really not concerned about it. So I'm gonna spread it out. You can clearly see the line of demarcation here that we're gonna use. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning on top and I will be right back. All done, there's the Italian seasoning on top of everything. So now I'm gonna go put this back into my oven, but I lowered the temperature to uh, 350 degrees. And I'm gonna just put this in for, I don't know, probably, whoops, I don't know, maybe like 15 minutes or so. I'll be back and we'll check it out. Okay, so it's out of the oven. Look at this, guys. I guess I could have let the cheese melt a little bit more, but I'm an hour and a half past the time I'm supposed to eat and I'm starving right now. So I'm gonna cut a slice of this. Remember, this is four servings. So I'm gonna plate it up and let's test it out. So as you can see, one quarter of this dinner is now served, <laughs> which really gives you a huge portion. Now this is a salad plate, it's a smaller plate, um, but check out the amount of food that's on here. It's crazy. We have spaghetti squash at the bottom, the ground turkey, the ricotta cheese, the mozzarella cheese, the rayo sauce, Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna take a bite of this and tell you how what I think. It looks really good. So let's switch the camera around. All right, so my hair has dried naturally from all the rain and it is a big puff ball. But I don't care because I'm having my comfort dinner, lasagna, spaghetti squash lasagna. So here's my bite. Let's see. Very good. Wow. All right, I'm going to do another bite. The cheese is just hanging off. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's a full lean and green. And I'm going to go sit down and enjoy it. Hope you like this little recipe. I think, what do we have? One more day of lean and green to go? All right. See you tomorrow. 
It is Sunday and we made it to the end of the week and it is a beautiful day here in New Jersey, uh, poolside, and it is three o'clock. And from swimming all day, I've kind of decided to do my leaning green now in the middle of the day. I still have three fuelings left for the night. So um, because it's that kind of day and I'm swimming and enjoying the day with my family, I decided to just have a leftover. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not making something special today. So this is what I'm having. This is leftover spaghetti lasagna from last night. I can't help it, but it is so good. And I do have a diet Pepsi next to it. So um, yeah, this is what it is. It's one cup of spaghetti squash. Uh, three ounces of ground turkey. You can substitute that, like I said last night, with the Jenny O sweet Italian sausage, if you can find it. Quarter cup of regatta cheese. Quarter cup of low-fat mozzarella. And I have a quarter cup of Rayo's. So this is Lean and Green at 3 o'clock. So it's our final night of Lean and Greens, and this is dinner tonight. This is a full serving of uh, cauliflower rice that I steamed in my microwave in the bag. I added six ounces of shrimp. I added one ounce of egg whites to give me my seven ounces of leanest. And I added two tablespoons of this in it, Rotel Original. Um, if you use a half a cup of this, it comes out to be one green but I used two tablespoons, so it will be considered a condiment. And this kind of makes like a paella kind of thing. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy this and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I hope you liked my week of lean and green meals. Let me know in the comment section below what you're gonna try. Which one of my meals looked the best? Which one do you wanna try? I'd love to know. And if you wanna see more of these um, or a full day of eating or whatnot, let me know that also. Uh, give it a like, subscribe if you're not a subscriber here and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great night guys, stay focused. I'll see you all soon.